Hi. Uh, those who joined newly, even uh, about this session, uh, so many people, they pinged me uh, in LinkedIn and my WhatsApp. Uh, how do we get to know the events, right? Uh, most of the time, every uh, uh, event, I'm explaining first two to three minutes so that it will be easy for everyone to uh, patch it. So if you uh, are in LinkedIn, because we are all working people. So if you can help us to follow all the updates so that it will be easy for us to bring more more initiatives. So we have launched some newsletter some two to three weeks back. Almost we are started adding all free trainings, free use cases. Upcoming, there is a lot of POC related uh, webinars and uh, related to Kubernetes and uh, security. So you will get everything in newsletter, even if you miss somewhere. <clears throat> okay, and uh, please uh, go and uh, enable the subscription so that you will get all the notification from here. And if you are in LinkedIn, this is my profile. Uh, either you can also add me in your connection or follow me. And the person who is going to uh, do it, uh, there are a couple of people along with me. They are my friends. So each vertical, they are going to deliver more use case sessions. So he is uh, Siju and he is in uh, Dubai now. And there is a page, LinkedIn page, Cloud and Loud Tech Community. <coughs> so you can also go and enable this notification. So if you go to the events, you can add the event in your calendar so that you will get a lot of notification reminders automatically. Since we are going to add more than 300 uh, sessions, uh, mostly 50% is going to be very senior level upcoming. So don't miss it. And there are another query people are started asking, how do I get notification for uh, if I miss that? Each and every session we are already started publishing in the YouTube. Okay, if you are having the uh, YouTube, go to this channel and here also you can enable because apart from the session, I'm also started releasing a lot of technical one. You can uh, spend it. Those who join newly, <coughs> you can go to the playlist because playlist normally after 10 uh, videos, you cannot see it. So if you go to this playlist, almost everything is covered. Now I'm about to start deep dive for cloud and cloud, uh, cloud and DevOps. So yeah, level one, level two already released. Even uh, all you need to do is you need to have a lab. You need to have the uh, steps already. I have released the everything uh, as part of this. You can go to github.com slash cloud and load. Each and every video uh, uh, you will get uh, where it is. So uh, that is where uh, you can. Even I'm going to send all my details in the chat. So feel free to reach out to me. Even I will share my WhatsApp. If you have any career related or Europe migration related or exam related or any open source related or any automation related, feel free to uh, reach out to us. There is a LinkedIn technical group also we have created. Feel free to post. The reason why I'm keep on highlighting is we are not able to uh, follow up or we are not able to send any single reminder. Uh, so that is where uh, we are uh, stuck. If you can help us for all this platform, uh, it will be easy for us to bring or concentrate on more tech initiatives. So I'm going to hand over to uh, Siju uh, so that he can uh, start the session. Siju, I'm going to make you as an admin. Yeah, you can share your uh, screen. Okay, uh, thanks, Vijay. Hello, hi, Vijay. Hello. Yeah, yeah, you, you, you go ahead. Okay. Hi, good evening. Uh, good evening. Uh, thank you all. Thank you for joining the session today. Uh, today we will be discussing about uh, mostly uh, what is Docker. 
Docker architecture and a Docker installation. Uh, then how to run the uh, container. Uh, then Docker image creation, persistent volume. Then how to press the data from the Docker container, basic Docker networking. Uh, these are the main topics which we'll be covering today. Uh, don't worry about any prior knowledge of Docker uh, because we will be discussing everything from the scratch only. Uh, this session is highly practical. Uh, my suggestion, uh, note the command somewhere. Uh, after the session, you can practice it. If you have any query or something, uh, note it down. Uh, end of the session, we can discuss. Yeah, yeah. you can proceed. Probably uh, uh, if they have any uh, queries, we'll address it later, uh, Shiju. Okay, sure. Uh, my name is Shaiju Krishnan, having nine years of experience in IT infrastructure, skilled in data center technology, Linux, Unix, virtualization, cloud and DevOps. I love to share knowledge occurred with the peers and with uh, some big communities like uh, cloud and loud. Okay, we can start with a quote by APJ Abdul Kalam. Learning gives creativity. Creativity leads to thinking. Thinking leads to knowledge. Knowledge make you great. Okay, guys, we can start with uh, Docker. Okay, first section is what is Docker? Actually, Docker is mainly an open source platform. You can run your container, you can ship your container, you can deploy your container on top of the Docker. Okay, main advantages, uh, main advantages, uh, you can uh, quickly deploy your container. Then managing also very easy. Uh, next thing is, uh, let's say, if you have an application on Docker, the same container, you can deploy your Windows server or you can deploy your Linux server or, de or deploy your Mac server. There is no compatibility and there is no compatibility issue also. These are the main advantages of Docker. Okay, then Docker, Docker architecture, Docker use a client server architecture. Uh, you can access the Docker uh, from the same computer or you can access from the client PC. Okay, actually this, uh, basically this is the Docker diagram. Uh, we have three portion, one is client portion, then one is Docker host portion. This uh, next one is the Docker registry. Uh, the same thing I will explain through my uh, whiteboard. Okay, first thing is we have on computer. This is Windows or Linux or anything, that's not a matter. The next thing is we have on Ubuntu server. Okay, then we have two portion. One is we can say voice portion. The next one is the uh, Docker container. Inside there is running container location and then image location. Then this is the registry location. Okay, Docker client. Then we have Docker host. Uh, Siju, one more thing. Uh, okay. Th this is to everyone. Uh, those who are starting uh, Docker, Kubernetes, Cloud, DevOps now, uh, there is a one information maybe you are aware or not. Kubernetes is uh, slowly going away from uh, Docker. So there is a newer version. But I would uh, strongly suggest now you are starting, you first get onto Docker <clears throat> and uh, get dirty on yourself because it's uh, really easy. Uh, it is also mandatory to get some idea. Then I'm, I'm, I'm bringing up a one more session, okay? So that it will be easy for you to understand what is the difference, what exactly Kubernetes is going to do. So the similar functionality they are removing and they are going to adapt some newer uh, uh, confirmation. So uh, I'll, I'll just explain in later session. Yeah, you go ahead. Uh, okay, thank you. Okay, this is the basic architecture. Uh, this is the main command we are using in Docker. 
uh, docker pull docker build and the docker run uh, then docker docker run Okay, how it is working is how when we are trying to pull on any image or something first uh, first uh, this instruction is going to docker daemon then docker daemon will contact to public registry then that particular image is copying to image location okay when you are uh, building or uh, building any image or something how it is working is it is going to docker daemon the particular image is uh, creating in the uh image location then docker run run means again it is going to docker raman it will contact the particular image uh, where it is located that particular image is running in the runner location this is basically the docker architecture diagram okay then we can jump to the next session uh, docker with virtual machines uh, first one is uh, physical server uh, physical server means uh, physical server we have then hypervisor we have then guest OS we have uh, compared to docker its uh, utilization is very high uh, it is using gbs uh, booting up time also it is very high uh, then if, if we come to docker section we have a physical server we have then operating system we have uh, then on top of that uh, docker engine uh, on top of on top of that we are creating the containers utilization is very high uh, compared to uh, virtualization it is utilization is very high uh, size also very high uh, boot up time also very high uh, very less okay then virtual machine uh, was docker uh, virtual machine is a hardware level process isolation uh, docker container is os level process isolation uh, each vm has a separate os uh, in container each container can uh, can share os uh, then boot in minutes uh, then uh, docker boot in seconds uh, vms are using gbs container are using mbs uh, ready made vme is very difficult but uh, pre built docker container is easily available uh, vm can move to new host easily uh, but container uh, no need to move to uh, another host we can destroy and we can create the um, container uh, creating VM taking relatively longer time. Container can can be created in seconds. Uh, more resource usage is uh, required in a virtual machine. Uh, in container, it's very less uh, resource usage. Uh, these are the main uh, main difference between virtual machines and a container. Okay, we can jump into the next topic. Uh, then installation uh, topic. Th this is the pre request OS. Uh, it should be actually we are uh, going with uh, uh, Ubuntu uh, server. Uh, you know, minimum twenty one point one zero is required, or twenty one point zero four. Then Fedora. Uh, then uh, twenty point zero four or eighteen point zero four. These are the pre requests of OS. Okay, we have JITLIM. All the commands and installation pre request uh, request we mentioned in the JITLIM. Uh, its uh, location is JIT dot. Docker training. Okay, this is the JIT repository. After the end of the session, I will put you in the chat session also. Uh, Docker administration and deep dive. Uh, before starting this exercise, you must have a running Ubuntu Linux machine. Uh, create an Ubuntu Linux machine in Azure or AWS or in your local PC. You can use a virtual machine or Hyper-V or VMware workstation. That is up to you. Uh, make sure you open SSH HTTP 8080 port or 8080 port for this uh, new VM. SSH for you know right uh, for the uh, SSH in the particular server 80 port for testing purpose 8080 also for some testing purpose. Uh, these are the topics maybe we are going to cover Docker installation, container deployment, image creation, volume management, and basic Docker networking. 
okay we can directly jump into the docker installation part uh, first uh, first we need to update the ubuntu ubuntu repository it is the command is sudo apt update okay i have one local machines uh, this is my ubuntu machine i will check my version okay this is the ubuntu version it's a release uh, 20.04 uh, here 20.04 okay uh, first we can update the repository we can copy the command from here and paste it here. Okay, it's a repository updation is completed. Uh, then we can uh, use apt command for installing the docker. sudo apt install docker iso. Okay, do you want to continue? Yes, we can continue. Uh, Docker installation is very quite simple. You can directly just uh, apt hyphen install docker.is. After the installation, we need to check the how to start the service, how to enable the service, and they just uh, check the status of the service. Yeah, installation is completed. We can check system CTL uh, start Docker. Okay, service is started. Uh, for checking the status, system CTL status Docker. Yeah, it's Docker service is uh, running. Uh, then we need to enable the Docker service also. System CTL enable Docker. Yeah, installation is completed. It's a uh, very easy steps. Okay, then we need to check the version. What version? What version we are using for Docker? Uh, which we can use Docker Docker minus version. Uh, it's docker version is 20.10.7 this is the version which we are using okay docker version command also there this will display you more informations uh docker version api version go version git command there are there are so many options uh, now versions uh, so many things are, are displaying here then docker info command also there docker info from here also we will get the more information. Okay, then uh, this is the step for installation. Then we can directly go into the Docker deployment. Uh, this is the life cycle of Docker. Uh, first we can create the container, then start it, then pause it, unpause it. Then you, if you want to stop, you can stop. And then if you want to start, meaning you can start. Uh, you can stop means uh, you can use rm command then you can delete it this is the life cycle of the docker okay now we are going to pull some uh, http container uh, this is the command docker pull httpd Uh, if you pull like that, it will pull the uh, it will pull the latest uh, HTTPD image. Otherwise, if you need any, if you know any, if you want any specific version, you can specify the version also. Let's say I will put HTTPD 2.4.51. This is the command for pulling the Docker container. Okay, after that, uh, we need to know how, how we'll check the Docker images. 
Uh, we have command docker images command we have okay these are the two images we downloaded first one is the httpd this is the latest one uh, second one we mentioned the uh, version that is the 2.4.51 okay we have another command uh, we have if you want to inspect that uh, particular image you can inspect the image also Uh, docker inspect image then httpd uh, it will tell you the all details about detailed description you will get uh, which uh, this image is uh, using which driver uh, which volume they are using which uh, port is exposed uh, that kind of information you will get from the uh, docker inspect image uh, command and these are the information you will get from the docker inspect command Okay. Uh, next command is uh, we have Docker history httpd. Docker history HTTP. Uh, This command exactly will tell you uh, how much size is uh, how much size for that particular uh, particular layer. Uh, then what are the command is used for creating this uh, HTTP image that kind of version you will get from the uh, history command if you check here uh, this layer is using 138 MB uh, then this apt hyphen get update that is using 2.m 2.68 uh, MB also uh, this uh, this is the environment they are set up. these are the environment they are set up for creating that particular uh, container uh, this is the port uh, they are exposed. Uh, this command is used HTTP run for uh, foreground. Uh, this kind of information you will get it from the Docker history command. Okay, uh, then um, we'll try how to run that particular uh, Docker image in the container. Okay, we can use Docker run command. Yeah, one thing. Uh, run okay. Here. Yeah, uh, Docker uh, Docker will support almost all OS because the idea here is, uh, say for example, in your project, you have Windows and uh, uh, there are a couple of uh, other flavors. You can install Docker for Windows, Docker for Red Hat Linux, Docker for Ubuntu. So you can bring those machines under cluster uh, or a standalone machine. On top of you can run container. You can take the container and directly go and run from anywhere. As long as the container needs to speak only the Docker engine, that's it. Yeah, yeah. Proceed, Sujo. Okay. Uh, then next command: how to run the uh, container? Then we can use uh, Docker run minus minus name. Uh, this is the name of the doc uh, the name of the container minus d d means it is running in the detached mode uh, next one is http which image we are using for uh, running the container okay uh, docker run minus minus name uh, my app minus d http okay uh, now it's a uh, container is running if you want to check that one, you can check and you can type Docker PS. It will display what are the container, container is running. If you're checking here, container ID is this one. Images, we are using HTTPD, command HTTP foreground. Uh, name is my app. Uh, then we have one more command. This is a Docker PS hyphen A. If you stop this container, uh, let's say docker stop uh, my app actually I stop this container then if you type docker ps it will not list it here if you want to list it the ex exited uh, container then you need to type docker ps hyphen a then only it will list the existed state container now this is the main difference between docker ps and a psa okay uh, then um, then how to start the container, then how to post the container, then unpost, restart, and stop. These are the command. Anyway, Docker stop is already, we'll 
Version 10. Again, I start that container. Docker start uh, my app. Okay, I started that container. If you check uh, Docker PS. Docker PS, yeah, it is running. Now, if you, if you want to post that one, you can use uh, Docker post. My app. Okay, if you're checking the status, it is showing my app. It is, it is showing the post status. If you want to unpost, if you can, you can unpost also. If you're checking here, it is running state. Uh, then if you want to restart, means you can restart the command. Uh, you can restart the Docker. Docker restart my app. It will restart the container also. You should check this one. It is status is up state. Okay, uh, next one. Actually, this is a web, web server. Then how to expose this web server outside. This is the one, then this is the port for ready. I am just stopping this container docker stop my app. I am using this command. Okay, this command, uh, if you check this one, uh, docker run minus p, uh, this is the exposing port. This is the default port. This one means this container will in a detached mode. Minus minus name. Uh, this is the container name. Uh, then uh, this is the image name. Okay, I'll recap on one more thing. One more time. Uh, Docker, Docker run minus p. This is the port. Uh, this port is exposing outside. Uh, this is the local uh, listening port. Minus p means it is in running in the detached mode. Minus minus name. Uh, this is the container name. Uh, this is the image name. I'm just exposing, ex I'm just running this port. Okay, I'm just running this container. Okay, this container is running. If you check in this one, Docker PS. Okay, uh, now if you're checking here, uh, name is this one, image is httpd, it is running the foreground, seven second up. Uh, if you're checking port, it is port is, 8080. Uh, 8080 is listening outside. Okay. Then I will check my IPPD here. This is my system IP. This system IP I'm going here and going to browser. And here, then port 8080. Yeah, it is working. Now the port is listening to 8080. Okay, this is a port, port forwarding. Uh, now, uh, in case if you want to access that particular uh, container, then you can use this command, uh, docker exit minus E, uh, then uh, container name, then bash. We will try this one. Docker PS, okay. docker exit. Uh, my web then hash okay now now we are inside that particular container we're going to here actually rocks this is the page now we are accessing let's let's say now i am modifying that particular page echo Okay, it's modified. Now I'm exiting this one. If I'm, we are coming to here, now you, you can see right now it's page is already modified. Okay, then we can go into the next comment. 
how to remove or delete the docker container okay now we can check docker ps uh, this is the container if you check ps minus a uh, one is in exited state one is in the up state now i am deleting this my app uh, its command is docker arm docker arm my app it is deleted now if you check minus ps minus a only it is showing up up status container only if you checking ps okay now i am trying to delete this my web app docker arm my web it is popping somewhere right um, before you removing this container you first you stop the container then only you can able to uh, remove the uh, container first we'll go to docker stop my web app okay now it is in the stop status now if you're trying to no no it is removed docker ps no nothing is there right now ps minus a also not it is thing nothing this is the way to remove the docker container okay now you want to remove the docker image which we downloaded two images right docker images we have two images how to remove this one for removing this one uh, the same command rm then you just mention i also docker image and docker rm rm my then docker image docker rm i then image name it is deleted another image then docker images they have one more docker arm my httpd it will not remove why because there is tag is there we need to mention that particular tag also yeah now it is removed we are checking docker images it's nothing i will recap one more one more time uh, first we'll forward that particular port uh, then we execute that uh, particular uh, docker container uh, then i will try to log in that particular container uh, use exit and uh, it command then how to remove the docker image we use uh, docker arm then how to remove the docker image we used the docker arm my docker image name these are the comments okay now we can jump into the next topic uh, docker build docker build uh, docker build means we can how we can build our own uh, docker container okay and mainly we are using from pull run and cmd commands uh, step file first we need to create a docker uh, first we create a file called a docker file then add our instruction then build our instruction then run run your instruction these are the four steps we need to use okay first uh, we need to create a docker file uh, it's uh, we used vim then uh, docker file okay Inst go to instruction mode then i will copy this one and paste it here okay, from here what we are mentioned is uh, from is ubuntu we need ubuntu image then maintainer is shaiju in that uh, up to you now you can mention anything then we mentioned run we need to run this command apt hyphen get update we need to run then command is mentioned once you run the container we need to pop up this message command echo hello world my first docker image this is uh, this is uh, this is the instruction we are going to performing okay yeah, i'm saving this file after that we need to use docker build minus t tag tag uh, minus t means it is the tag then image then image uh, then image name then image version okay i'm using this command uh, docker build minus t image image name then version
Okay, it is downloading that uh, particular uh, image. No extracting. It's reading the package. Okay, it's successfully built. Uh, this is the build ID. This is the tag ID. My v, my image hyphen one point zero. If you check in Docker images, this is my image. Uh, this is my tag. Okay. Now I am trying to run that particular uh, container. Okay. Docker run minus D detach mode uh, minus minus name. Uh, my web. Okay, we can mention my web. And then my image. Docker base. No. It is my image. One second, local images. Local run minus D. Then maybe this my image latest is uh, let's uh, inspect that one in uh, history history docker his my image colon 1.0 uh, this is the command hello echo well then apt update then uh, so, okay mm, docker run Maybe uh, see if you are running this one, it is pop up Hello world, uh, my web, my first uh, Docker image. Now it is working. Uh, this is the one. Uh, we'll try one more example. Uh, now, next example, uh, we are using Ubuntu image, uh, then apt up update also using then uh, apt install nginx we are installing uh, then adding on index file in usr share nginx html and index file then exposing the port 80 uh, then we are come running this instruction also okay i'm copying this one um, then vm docker file the same the same file also i'm using the same file I'm using. Okay, uh, here Docker build minus T my image two. I'm not specifying any versioning and all. Okay, it's completed. Oh, it's a running container is created. Uh, Docker images. Okay, it is in my Docker build minus T my image. Okay, here no problem. Uh, Docker images. Docker images. Uh, this is the image that we'll try with the uh, image Docker run. Uh, minus t uh, minus p 80 and 0 with the expose port is 80 uh, then 
no the image is running docker ps no it is not running immediately. no there is some issue with the creator time we will recreate that one vim docker Vim Docker file, it's from Ubuntu, APT update, then install Nginx, then guard a index file to in there, expose that, that's fine. Using my image 0 02, my image 0 02 version. Oh, it's build a Docker images index does not exist. No, no, you need to create a, uh, some index.html. Can you put a ls? Okay, from here? No, yes, ls. No, no, just a ls. Oh, okay. So there is a index file. You can put a no dot uh, empty file. You can, uh, no, no, no. Type echo. Some, some word, echo, echo. Okay. Uh, within code, some word. Uh, welcome. Then redirect it to index.html. Index.html. Uh, index.html. Okay, sorry. Basically, it's trying to build that index.html is not happening. Yes. Okay. Now you build it, it, it will. Okay, it's successfully built. Yeah, so oh. there also, wait, so there also, if you see step one, that step is successful, then they uh, it's taking snapshots. And second step two is successful, then it is overriding the first snapshot and making it to second snapshot. So the idea here is automatically it is uh, taking a snapshot each level. Even if you have a last step is failed till the uh, fifth step, you will have the good uh, uh, thing. Yeah, go ahead, go ahead. Okay, uh, now we are checking here. Uh, this is our latest image, Docker in my image 02. Now I'm trying to run that particular image, Docker run. Uh, type of mistake. Uh, okay, sorry. Uh, Docker run minus RD, uh, minus minus name, my web 02. Uh, then, we mentioned the my image 0 02 version 1.0. Okay, now if you're going to run here, Docker run Docker PS. Okay, now it is working. Yes, uh, this, yeah, that's it. What is not redirected? That's why it's not working. So because okay. you mm -hmm. have just executed, yeah, yeah, you have to expose it, right? Yeah, yeah, correct. My image is zero three uh, minus p. No, you have an image, right? So yes. Yeah, yeah. Eight zero nine zero. Um... No, no. The image you need to specify. The image first. Oh, okay. Okay. Uh, Docker run minus d in detachment minus minus name. Yeah. Uh, my web name. Press zero three. Okay. Then, yes, then we need to press uh, okay. Press on the port. Okay. Then the image name. Yes. Okay. No. So fetching. now you do a ps a. Okay. So it it's it's getting redirected. Right? 8090. I'm coming here and. It is your local laptop? Yeah, it is local laptop. Okay, no, it's working. Okay. Uh, next, uh, next, uh, next topic is Docker volume. Uh, Docker volume basically uh, by default, all files are created inside the container or store, uh, store a writable container layer. It's mainly three. Uh, volumes are available first one is tempo volume then uh, second one is volume uh, then third one is the mount point tempo volume as you know it, uh, this is the temporary files uh, once uh, it's 
uh, temporary files it's mount a non persistent on disk either uh, either on a disk host or within the container it can be used by container during the lifetime of the container uh, so store non persistent state or sensitive information uh, volume means create and managed by docker only uh, then bind mount means it's a uh, uh, bind mount have a limited functionality compared with the volumes okay now we will go with the volumes how we will show you how to create a volume uh, docker volume volume name this is the command to create the uh, docker volume uh, so uh, can you go back to the diagram uh, okay so that uh, you can just give an idea See, okay uh, whenever you create a production grade containers then uh, you we we have to make sure all files all documents uh, related to the application whatever it related to container okay so you need to store it in uh, somewhere outside the container which is a persistent way so here we are introducing the concept called volume so you can create the volume from your external storage or whatever you have a space mounted from there you attach it to container while creating so when you say i'm going to launch container you are launching container with attached the volume so that even the container you are uh, uh, destroying it still you are going to have the data persistent persistent yeah, go okay yeah go ahead go ahead okay first one is how to create a volume then this is the command uh, docker volume docker volume create my uh, create uh, my volume this is the volume name if you want to check that one uh, docker volume if you uh, ls this one it will show you the uh, volume name okay and then if you want to inspect that volume you can use this command uh, docker volume inspect uh, my volume 0 1 then it will uh, show you where exactly this mounted the uh, mount v0 um, v vol1 if you checking here var lib docker volume my volume data this is the mount path of this particular volume Uh, okay and then if you want to remove that particular volume you can use the docker volume arm command docker volume arm then particular uh, volume name then it will remove uh, i will show you that command also mm, docker volume docker volume arm volume one it is removed if you checking docker volume ls it will not uh, show any volumes i'm just recreating the same volume So then the idea we here is we are making as a persistent even if yeah, it goes yeah. down uh, we are making as a person the data yes. will not be disturbed yeah correct uh, then i'm i am just running on container then attaching that particular volume okay now if you are checking here i'm just copying this command Uh, docker run uh, minus t means you know or detached mode minus minus name this is the container name minus minus mount option we are using source is equal to my vault 01 destination is equal to slash data uh, image name is uh, image name is httpd now i am running this container okay now sorry it's image is not available docker pull HTTP. No, even if you run the command, you wait for some time, automatically it will download. Oh, auto, um, yes. So the default behavior is it will uh, keep check uh, local first point. If it is not there, then it will try to download from the repository. Hmm. Okay. I know I'm running this command docker run minus t minus minus name. Uh, container name minus minus mount source source is my vault zero one destination is uh, slash data. HTTP is the image. Name. I'm running this one. 
okay now the container is created if you are checking here docker ps my vm01 my vm01 okay this container yeah, is created uh, Viji, uh, there is a uh, so you are asking to show the sample application dockerized so i'm okay wait uh, first i want to understand so that i can uh, send you the detailed uh, steps with the example in the, in the LinkedIn group. There are a couple of queries also I received. Uh, so we, 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 you just wait so that uh, I want to understand your question, then I'll help you. Yeah, go ahead, go ahead, Suju. Okay. Uh, this container mount um, source is my volume, destination is slash data, right? Now I am just looking to that particular container. Uh, Docker exec minus it uh, container name is my world zero one using bash. Okay, I am low. I am, now I am inside the container. If I am checking here, see uh, data is already mounted here. I will show you one thing. I am going to slash data folder. I am creating a file, it's called uh, text test file. I'm just uh, writing some data in inside the text file. Echo test. Uh, I think uh, the person named Dell, uh, I, I didn't get your question. Uh, uh, just wait, probably I'll open up a QA session. I need to understand. So I'm, I'm keep saving all these queries so that I can provide you with the examples. Uh, maybe today night or tomorrow morning with the detailed steps. All you can do is just go and copy paste and do it if you have a Docker machine. Okay, yeah, no. Yeah. Just, just wait. Once once uh, we finished, I, I think he's going to complete. Yeah, go ahead. Okay, uh, now we are in Docker. Uh, now we are inside the Docker machine. Uh, inside the Docker machine, we are inside the data folder we insert the folder data folder we created one text file inside the test file we are created some context this is test also okay i'm exiting this one uh, i will show you one more thing uh, docker volume ls mm, docker volume ls my uh, i'm going docker volume docker inspect docker 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 inspect no. sorry sorry my old zero one actually this is mapped to here right i am going to this particular location So checking here it's a uh, text file is also mapped to here i am just get that file content also there now uh, if you remove this uh, container also data will be persisted this is the uh, volume this is called persisted volume now uh, docker ps i'm just removing the that particular docker docker Docker's Docker RM my VM01. First, I need to Docker stop. I stop that one. I am removing that particular container. Okay. If I am checking here, the file is all file is already here. This is volume. Okay, next one is uh, bind volume. Bind volume is, uh, now volume is, uh, now we create, uh, we used command for creating the volumes and all, right? Docker volume create, then uh, then volume name we need to specify. If you come to bind volume means, in your Linux machine, you know, let's say in your Linux machine, you can create one folder, that particular folder you can map to your container. This is called bind, bind volume. Now I'm creating one folder called data inside my uh, Ubuntu machine data. Okay, I'm going to inside the data. Inside the data also I'm just creating one 
cloud and loud one pay one uh, text file created inside that one i'm just creating uh, echo welcome that is redirect to cloud and loud okay what i did is i created one folder uh, in my local uh, ubuntu system uh, inside that i created one uh, one file file it's called cloud and loud uh, inside the file i can write, written some uh, some welcome message okay now now i am creating one container i am using bind option bind option means okay command is docker run minus d is detached mode minus minus name means uh, minus minus name uh, name of the container then option minus p it's volume local machine volume we need to map inside the container it's a data file then image location i'll recap one more thing one more time docker run minus t minus minus name is the uh, uh, image uh, container name container name is mentioned minus v option we need to mention linux machine volume we need to map under the container it's uh, name is name also called data okay i'm just running this container okay now the container is created container name is my vm01 i'm just checking docker ps vm is created i'm just uh, logging inside that particular container uh, docker exec uh, minus it uh, it's my vm name i'm using bash okay now i am inside that particular container if i'm checking df minus h that is also here okay if i'm going to data just ls see cloud and load is already here if i'm get that particular cloud and load this content also welcome is also here this is the difference between volume and uh, bind volume in volume means we need to uh, volume is actually can, uh, docker is creating the volumes and all things in bind volume means we need to we, we need to manually create a volume that particular volume we need to map inside the actually this is the very important topic you need to practice uh vijay any anyone have any doubt or we can move on to uh, yeah yeah you can you can move on move on we will have a, a finally i'm i'm hearing a lot of queries first okay. we will finish the session then we will go one by one okay because some of the queries uh, i i'm seeing we need to give some example which okay we will understand the question then uh, we can respond it to detail example okay uh, anyway, you can use this JIT link, uh, JIT, uh, jithub.com, cloud and loud, then Docker deep dive. Yeah, That's I like... shared the, the group, okay. so probably okay. we can go back. Okay, next topic is uh, Docker networking. In Docker networking, we have three options. One is bridge option, second one is none, uh, third one is host option. Uh, mostly uh, by default one is bridge option. None option means it, it will not communicate to uh, outside the network. A host option means it will communicate inside the host only okay normally we are using the bridge options only uh, this is the systematic diagram okay if you checking here uh, this is my uh, local machine local machine ip is 192.168.100.101 if i'm checking the host a host machine it is called host machine eth0 it is 192.168.100.100 anyway this is in the local network it will communicate each other there is no issue with the server and the client okay now i have uh, if you installing the docker it will automatically create a docker zero network docker zero networks ip address is 172.17.0.1 if i am creating the container it is automatically take that particular ip only first container is taking 172.17.0.10 second container is taking 172.17.0.11 uh, anyway, both IP address is different. Uh, if you want to expose this particular uh, particular uh, network, you need to publish uh, port eighty two eight zero eight zero. It's using port forwarding. Once you once you enable the port forwarding, it's automatic. 
so once you enable the that port 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 forward port forwarding uh, then the same host will use uh, which uh, this particular ip address uh, let's say uh, now we are running the container 2 uh, current port is 80 i am exposing 80 to 8080 80 means it will run in this uh, it will use the same base host ip address uh, port should be 8080 okay this is the architecture diagram if you are going to here uh, then first first command is how to check the uh, uh, network then going to here then docker network now before going to this one i will show you this docker zero network if i am checking i IP space ADDR. Okay, this is my uh, uh, Docker machine IP address. Its IP address is 192.168.100. Okay, this is my Docker network. It is using 172.17.0.1 network. I think now we clear about this picture, right? Okay, now I'm going to here Docker network LS. Okay, if I'm coming, if I'm typing this one, it will list, display bridge, host, and a none network. Okay, uh, now I'm trying to create one more network, uh, Docker network create. Uh, Docker network create uh, my net. Okay, if I'm, if you're checking LS, see if we checking this out, this is the one if you didn't mention anything it is automatically created a bridge network only okay if you want to uh, inspect Varun, actually uh, i think you joined late or not but there is a jitub uh, where we are having all this script but the the mm -hmm. presentation also we will share it we will post everything in the link, uh, linkedin uh, group and linkedin page even uh, siju also have have published in their uh, uh, timeline. Go ahead, go ahead, Sujit. Okay, uh, now I'm inspecting that one, Do Docker inspect network, uh, that particular, this one. From here, you will get the IP address. If you're creating the Docker network, it will get uh, 172.18. This is the IP address. This is the gateway uh, for that particular internet interface. Docker network LS. Okay, next command, how to remove that particular uh, interface. Mm, this is the Docker network RM, then particular, you can use Docker network RM, then you can mention that particular name. It is removed. Now, if we checking to here, else it's automatically, it's removed. Okay, next command. Uh, we are creating on next command. I mean, next command we are creating on bridge network with uh, we are specifying the IP address and all. I am using this command. Okay, this is the command docker network create minus minus driver is equal to bridge then minus minus subnet is equal to this is the ip address we need to uh, specify for that particular network uh, particular interface actually this is created now if you are checking to inspect command docker inspect uh, network uh, myweb.net it is created see this is the uh, this is the ip address we specified for create, creating the time Okay, uh, now next command is create a container with a defined bridge network. If you want to create a, uh, if you want to specify any bridge network while creation time, you, and then also you can mention, uh, this is the command. Uh, this is the command docker run minus d minus minus network. You need to mention that particular name. 
uh, then minus minus name vm name then you, you can mention the image name I, okay now i'm creating this one okay now docker is created if you check uh, docker inspect vm01 Uh, see, IP address is it is taking 192.168.0.2. If you scroll down, it is showing the network interface name also. Uh, see if you grab that one it is network uh, uh, network mode is minet then we can we can go to particular server Yeah, this is almost completed. Uh, uh, okay. So, so we can uh, start the query session, right, Sujo? Okay. Yeah, yeah, correct. Okay. Let me just stop the.